Okay, back to the story time. So the plan was to get to the rail station, have about an hour to find a place to park, take the 11 o'clock train to St. Pancras, and then get my Eurostar to uh, Campania. Com Campaign, com company? I don't know how you say it. Um, I think I've probably said it wrong every time. But anyway, <clears throat> so I get to Slough uh, Station, which is 10 minutes from the horse show and from where my hotel was. And there's no parking, and there's no parking, and there's no parking. And I'm driving around, driving around, getting stuck because you can't go around and get out. You have to back up. So I've had to back up, closed off aisles. Everything is so tight and so squishy, and you just the anxiety is just ridiculous trying to navigate that type of mess. So um, went to a couple other places, and unfortunately, they were only like for six hours or 12 hours. You couldn't do like days. You, you, you couldn't park it there for more than like six hours or, or one day. So then I went back to the uh, train station and drove in for the fourth or fifth time and shockingly found a spot. I immediately took it because <laughs> that was ridiculous. And it was right at 11 o'clock when I wanted to take the 11 o'clock train. So that didn't work. So anyway, I got parked. I was able to pay for two days, um, went in, uh, was trying to catch the 1133 train, but I had to take the lift because you can't, you know, muscle your bag up the stairs to the, to the train platforms. And I had to go across the tracks, across some sort of a footbridge down on the other side to where the train was. Um, anyways, took the lift, that took forever, got over there, and then I missed that train, so I had to take the next one. Um, and that was fine. Uh, took that one, ended up in a f Farmington, I think is the train station that I, um, changed over on. And then, um, oops, come on, stay there. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, got off there, got on the next train that took me one stop down to St. St. Pancras Station, and I saw the piano that uh, was donated by um, Sir Elton John. It's there in the St. Pancras Station, and there was somebody there getting ready to play it, and I asked to take a photo of them and said that I'd seen the, the piano on YouTube, so that was cool. So anyway, he wanted to visit, and I'm like, hey, I gotta check, I gotta catch my Eurostar, because <laughs> now I was pushing, because it said to be there 60 minutes early and I was pushing it like a 20, 30 minute. So got in there, cause I already had my ticket, um, got through, so you have to scan your ticket, go through, they, they scan all, just like the airport, they scan all your luggage, um, you pick up your stuff on the other side and then you check in with British passport control and then leave them and he goes, oh, leave it out cause you have to do it again and I'm like, Huh? And then you, you walk behind the British passport control and there's literally French passport control <laughs> in the same spot. So that was really weird. Um, anyway, so checked with them and then went in, um, you know, got something to eat and drink. Took that with me on the train because it's about as much time as I had. So we're in the train station awaiting um, boarding. They just had two trains board a few minutes ago. It's an absolute madhouse in here. Um, um, in the Eurostar Paris station, and I had to ask for help because it's like <clears throat> a ridiculous number of calls and stuff, and I'm waiting for my train apparently to show up on the, on the thing as to what, where I go. I had to ask the dudes behind me here. I had to ask ask the whatever they are, cops, military, something, because I have no idea what's going on. Welcome to Campania, or however you say it, I have no idea. Literally across the street from the train station, but the taxi wouldn't take me, I had to walk. Oh, I got soaking wet. Thank goodness for my GPS. And uh, we are here, and apparently everybody else that was on the same train came in behind me. <laughs> I had to ask a lady at the 
the crosswalk because I didn't know if I was going the right direction because all the taxi driver did was point, it's over there, bridge, walk, in the rain. <laughs> Welcome to France. <laughs> Oh my god. And then the show starts at 8 o'clock tomorrow is the um, Grand Prix 3 star. 5 star is Saturday. That's the Nations Cup. That was the adventures of um, my full second day in England slash France. And now I'm going to uh, go to bed and get up in the morning, uh, get some breakfast, and then head over to the show for the day. So... All right, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.